Greetings and salutations, my fellow math enthusiasts and students of all things mathematical. My name is Sean Spartan, and this video continues my series on figurate numbers, which are numbers that relate to certain geometric shapes in two or higher dimensions. In this video, I will introduce the hexagonal, heptagonal, and octagonal numbers and their properties. Let's start with hexagonal numbers. As the name implies, hexagonal numbers relate to the regular hexagon. Specifically, the nth hexagonal number is the number of points in a hexagon with n regularly spaced points on a side. Here is a visual interpretation of the first few hexagonal numbers. As with all other figurate numbers discussed so far, we have an explicit formula for the nth hexagonal number, which I will denote h sub n hn equals n times 2n minus 1, which is actually simpler than our other formulas uh, for the pentagonal and triangular numbers. A list of hexagonal numbers is provided below. The first property I will discuss is that every hexagonal number is also a triangular number. This is a straightforward proof using a little algebra. Recall the formula for the nth triangular number. Now we use our formula for the nth hexagonal number, write it as a fraction, and multiply top and bottom by 2. Then we get an expression very similar to our formula for triangular numbers, except we have 2n minus 1 instead of n. Therefore, the nth hexagonal number is actually the 2n minus 1th triangular number, t sub 2n minus 1. So going down our list of triangular numbers, every other number on the list is also a hexagonal number. Another interesting property is that any integer greater than 1791 can be written as the sum of at most four hexagonal numbers. This was actually proven in 1830 by the famous mathematician Adrien Marie Legendre, after whom the Legendre symbol was named. The next type of figurate number I'd like to discuss are the heptagonal numbers, which I will denote S uh, for seven, since they are based on the regular seven-sided figure, and I've already used H for the hexagonal numbers. As with all the previous figurate numbers, we do have a formula to compute the nth heptagonal number, Sn. Uh, Sn is equal to n times 5n minus 3, all divided by 2. Notice that this will always be a whole number for any natural number n. This is because either n is even, and hence divisible by 2, or n is odd, which makes 5n also odd, which makes 5n minus 3 even, because an odd number minus an odd number is even, which, of course, is divisible by 2. Now I'd like to prove an identity that relates to the heptagonal and triangular numbers I've already discussed in a previous video. But before I do, a quick recap for those who haven't seen that video, uh, triangular numbers have the form n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Any positive integer that can be written in that form is a triangular number, and in fact is the nth triangular number. So for example, to get the tenth triangular number, I just plug in 10 in place of n, and I get 10 times 11 divided by 2, which is 55. So t sub 10 equals 55. Now for that identity. If the positive integer x is a heptagonal number, then 5 times x plus 1 is triangular. To prove this, we will need to use a little bit of algebra and the formula we have seen for heptagonal numbers. Since x is heptagonal, there exists a positive integer n such that x equals 5n times n minus 3 all divided by 2. After multiplying this expression by 5 and adding 1, this simplifies to 5n minus 2 times 5n minus 1 all divided by 2. But if you notice carefully, this has the form of something times something 1 greater divided by 2, which is a triangular form. Therefore, this is a triangular number, and specifically, it is t sub 5n minus 2. And that completes the proof. Before I conclude this video, there is one more set of figurate numbers I'd like to talk about, and that's the octagonal numbers that I will denote O sub N.
we do have a formula for the nth octagonal number. For any positive integer n, O sub n is equal to 3n squared minus 2n. The first few octagonal numbers are listed below. Like many other figurate numbers, we do have a test for, for octagonality. Um, a positive integer O sub n is the nth octagonal number if and only if n equals root 3 O sub n plus 1 plus 1 all divided by 3 is a whole number. For example, to test whether 8 is octagonal, I plug 8 into the formula and I get root 3 times 8 plus 1, which is root 25, which is 5. Then I'll add 1, which makes 6 and divide the whole thing by three, which gives me two. Therefore, eight is indeed octagonal, and in fact, it is the second octagonal number, O sub two. Although we could keep going like this and study the properties of figurate numbers corresponding to the regular n-gons for n higher than eight, I think it'll be more interesting to see what happens in higher dimensions, uh, or dimensions higher than two. So I'm planning on my next video to be about figure it numbers representing regular objects in three and possibly higher dimensions, and I hope you'll join me. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave me a comment.